Now to the latest on the pandemic. Denmark is making big moves this morning, becoming the first European country to lift all COVID restrictions, ending nearly two years of lockdowns, mask mandates, and limited gatherings. As more countries are beginning to move in that direction, the World Health Organization is speaking up and urging caution. We're concerned that a narrative has taken hold in some countries that because of vaccines and because of Omicron's high transmissibility and lower severity, preventing transmission is no longer possible and no longer necessary. Nothing could be further from the truth. It's premature for any country either to surrender or to declare victory. Joining me right now for more on this is Dr. Richard Besser. He's a former acting director of the CDC. It's great to see you, Dr. Besser. So the World Health Organization is worried about moving on um, too soon, even now. But at the same time, we have former CDC director Tom Frieden saying that he is cautiously optimistic this week of where things are heading with the pandemic. Where are you on this? Yeah, you know, Kate, it's, it's really tricky messaging uh, around this uh, because, you know, I do have a sense of optimism as I see, see the numbers. I see the numbers of, of cases due to Omicron uh, declining dramatically, especially in those areas that were hit, hit early on. But at the same time, I, I worry that we were accepting uh, more than 2,500 people dying of COVID every day as, as a normal state, and, and that can't be. Uh, so trying to message around being hopeful, seeing signs of, of things moving in the, in the right direction, but needing to make sure that we do everything possible to prevent transmission, reduce transmission, uh, so we can save lives. That's critically important. Council, you are a, pedi a very well-known pediatrician as well. I want to ask you about Pfizer's announcement that they're now asking the FDA for emergency authorization for its vaccine for children younger than five seeking approval on a two-dose regimen, even as they continue testing a third dose with this group of kids. What do you think of this? Does, does this make sense? Well, you know, as a, as a, as a pediatrician and, and a parent, I, I know it's so important to, to get vaccines that are safe and effective for children of, of, of all ages. You know, when I talk to parents of, of young children, um, they worry. They worry about their children being out and about because they're, they're not vaccinated. And, you know, thankfully, the, the younger children are, the less likely they are to have severe disease, to be hospitalized uh, or to die. Uh, but we are seeing, because of how contagious this Omicron is, we're seeing uh, children getting this at, at, in very high numbers, and we're seeing a lot of children in, in, in the hospital. So the goal of having a safe and effective vaccine, I, I think, is the right one. I'm going to be watching the committee hearings, the FDA advisory committee hearings, it, very closely. Those take place uh, on, on February 15th. And, and the reason for that is that there's, there's a bit of a trade-off here. Uh, Pfizer, when they released their information in December, said that the vaccines were not as effective as they'd like to see in really young kids and that they think there's, they're, they're going to need to see a third dose and see what that does. It's very likely a third dose will increase the level of protection. Uh, but the FDA, I don't know that they've ever in their past uh, approved a vaccine or authorized a vaccine uh, in this kind of situation where they're expecting the results of unyet presented information, unyet collected information to, to push them over the finish line in terms of what they want to see. The committee of experts, I, I want to see how they weigh this. Uh, is the desire to, to have a safe and effective vaccine uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, does that outweigh their desire to see the full amount of information before they say, Let, let's go ahead? And I'm not sure how they're going to come down on that. I want to see see their, their deliberations and thinking before I decide what, what I would want to say to my patients. Um, and then I'll be leaning on you to hear exactly what you think afterwards. It's great to see you, Dr. Besser. Thank you so much.